Origins of Elves in Mythology Elves have deep roots in various mythological traditions, particularly in Germanic, Norse, and Celtic folklore. The word elf comes from the Old English elf, and in early mythological sources, elves were often viewed as semi-divine beings, existing between the human and divine world. In Norse mythology, elves, or alfar, were divided into two categories, light elves, liasalfar, and dark elves, dokkalfar. The light elves were considered beautiful, radiant beings associated with goodness, while dark elves were more mysterious and at times malevolent. Elves were originally viewed as powerful forces of nature, closely tied to fertility, life, and natural phenomena. In early Germanic and Norse myths, they often lived in forests, mountains, or other natural settings, and humans would interact with them carefully, respecting their supernatural powers. Elves could either bless or curse individuals depending on how they were treated, with some legends portraying them as protectors of nature and others as tricksters who enjoyed toying with humanity. Elves in Medieval European Folklore As European folklore evolved, elves became associated with fairy tales and medieval literature. In these stories, elves often blended with fairies, goblins, and other supernatural creatures. In the Middle Ages, Elves were frequently depicted as mischievous beings, played pranks on humans. This image was reinforced by popular tales about elves stealing children or leading travelers astray into the forest. During this period, the Christianization of Europe also had an impact on the portrayal of elves. In many cases, they were demonized or diminished in stature, seen as malevolent spirits or remnants of a pagan past. Elves were sometimes considered responsible for illnesses or bad luck particularly when humans failed to appease them. Fear of offending elves led to practices like leaving offerings of food or drink to keep them at bay. The shape-shifting nature of elves. One of the fascinating characteristics of elves is their ability to shape-shift. In various myths and legends, elves were known to change their appearance, sometimes appearing as animals, humans, or even invisible forces of nature. This shape-shifting ability made them elusive and difficult for humans to predict, adding to their mystical and unpredictable nature. In Norse mythology, elves were sometimes associated with Vanir gods like Freyr, who was believed to rule over the realm of elves. This connection between elves and gods added to their aura of mystery. Shape-shifting also allowed elves to move freely between worlds, often crossing into the realm of humans when necessary, either to help or to hinder. Elves in Tolkien's Middle-earth The modern image of elves was significantly shaped by J.R.R. Tolkien's writings, particularly in The Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion. Tolkien's elves are tall, immortal beings with immense wisdom and grace. They are a noble and ancient race, deeply connected to nature, art, and magic. Unlike earlier folklore, where elves were often mischievous or dangerous, Tolkien's elves are largely portrayed as virtuous and heroic, though still mysterious and sometimes aloof. Tolkien's reimagining of elves has had a profound influence on how elves are portrayed in modern fantasy literature and media. His depiction combines elements from different mythological traditions, but he elevates elves into a high fantasy race with their own language, culture, and history. Tolkien's elves have become a cornerstone of modern fantasy, inspiring countless adaptations in books, movies, and video games. Elves in Modern Fantasy and Pop Culture Beyond Tolkien, the image of elves has become a staple in fantasy world. From Dungeons and Dragons to The Witcher, elves have evolved into a multifaceted race often portrayed as otherworldly, graceful, and immortal beings. These modern interpretations tend to blend the noble, wise characteristics from Tolkien's elves with the trickster and mischievous traits from earlier folklore. In modern video games and role-playing games, elves are often presented as archers, magic users, or forest dwellers, with an affinity for nature and a deep-seated wisdom. Some fantasy settings also introduce darker or more cynical versions of elves, such as the dark elves or drow in Dungeons & Dragons, who live underground and have more sinister characteristics. Elves in Christmas Mythology One of the most widely recognized modern depictions of elves is their role in Christmas mythology. In the 19th century, the idea of elves as Santa's helpers became popular, especially in North American and Western European traditions. These Christmas elves are much smaller than those in folklore and fantasy, 
often depicted as cheerful, industrious creatures who assist Santa Claus in making toys for children. This image of elves, largely influenced by the commercialization of Christmas, has softened their portrayal. Far from the mysterious or powerful beings of old myths, Christmas elves are friendly and harmless, playing a key role in spreading holiday cheer. However, they retain some of their original mischievousness in modern traditions, such as the Elf on the Shelf, where they play pranks or monitor children's behavior during the holiday season. Elves in Scandinavian and Icelandic Traditions In Scandinavian and Icelandic traditions, elves are still regarded with a mix of reverence and caution. In Iceland, for example, belief in the Holdufolk, hidden people, type of elf or spirit is widespread. These elves are thought to inhabit rocks and hills, and disturbing their dwellings can result in bad luck or disasters. Even today, construction projects in Iceland may be altered or delayed to avoid disturbing places where elves are believed to live. In these traditions, elves are often seen as protectors of the land, with a strong connection to nature and the landscape. Their roles are not just relegated to myth. They are part of the cultural consciousness, with modern Icelanders continuing to tell stories about encounters with these hidden beings. Elves as Guardians of Nature Throughout various mythological and modern interpretations, elves are frequently associated with nature. They are often depicted as guardians of forests, rivers, and mountains, working to protect the natural world from harm. This close bond with nature is one of the defining characteristics of elves across cultures. Their magic is often derived from the natural world and their homes are typically located in places of great natural beauty. This aspect of elves has become even more prominent in modern fantasy, where elves are often shown as environmental stewards. In Tolkien's work, for example, the elves of Lothlorien live in perfect harmony with the forest, and their magic is intertwined with the preservation of nature. This image of elves as protectors of the environment resonates with modern audiences, especially in a world increasingly concerned with environmental issues. Elves and their relationship with humans Elves have a complex relationship with humans in myths and folklore. In some tales, they are benevolent and offer help to humans, granting blessings or sharing their wisdom. In other stories, elves are tricksters who deceive or punish those who wrong them. This duality of their nature is part of what makes them such intriguing mythological figures. Human-elf relationships also vary in different mythologies. In some stories, humans can form alliances or even romantic relationships with elves. However, such unions are often fraught with difficulty, as elves are immortal and humans are not. The idea of forbidden love between humans and elves is a recurring theme in both ancient myths and modern fantasy stories symbolizing the bridge between the mortal and immortal worlds. Elves as immortal beings A common thread in many depictions of elves is their immortality. Whether in ancient myths or modern fantasy, elves are often depicted as beings who do not age or die naturally. This immortality gives them a unique perspective on time and the world around them. In many stories, elves are portrayed as wise and patient, having witnessed the rise and fall of civilization. However, immortality also comes with its burdens. Elves are often shown as melancholic, watching as the world changes around them while they remain unchanged. This theme of sorrow and loss is particularly strong in Tolkien's works, where elves struggle with the knowledge that their time in the world is fading and that they must eventually leave Middle-earth for the Undying Lands. The Duality of Light and Dark Elves the duality between light and dark elves is another recurring theme, especially in Norse mythology. Light elves, Leo Salfar, are often associated with goodness, beauty, and light, while dark elves, Dukkalfar, or Drow in modern fantasy, are linked to darkness, evil, and deception. This dichotomy represents the contrast between order and chaos, or good and evil, in the world. In modern fantasy, dark elves have been developed and into a complex race particularly in series like Dungeons and Dragons or The Witcher. They are often portrayed as more dangerous and antagonistic, though some stories explore their deeper motivations and inner conflicts, adding complexity to their portrayal beyond mere evil. Elves in the Future of Fantasy As fantasy literature and media continue to evolve, elves remain a popular subject. Writers and creators frequently reimagine elves, 
drawing from both ancient folklore and modern interpretations to create new versions of these timeless beings. Whether they are portrayed as noble warriors, mischievous tricksters, or environmental guardians, elves continue to captivate audiences with their magical and mysterious nature. In the future, we are likely to see even more diverse representations of elves as storytellers push the boundaries of fantasy and mythology. As our world changes, so too does our understanding of these mythological beings, ensuring that elves will remain a fixture of human imagination for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.